well happy november it is currently monday the first of november and i just can't believe i cannot believe how quickly september and october went where did they go yeah i woke up this morning put christmas playlist on i've been listening to it all morning without an inch of guilt without feeling like Gemma you shouldn't really be listening to this it's like the first of September and yeah it just feels oh my god I love Christmas so much it comes with just that I think for me it's just the nostalgia that comes with Christmas and it just brings me so many happy childhood memories especially like all the old school songs like every single song reminds me of something when i was little and i just think christmas music is the biggest mood booster it's just so happy this morning i have been having an admin morning which i do pretty much every morning like i start every day off with just like a big review of my to-do list for the day but on mondays especially i like to kind of just review my to-do list for the week make sure that i have everything on there that needs to be on there and as you guys know i cannot function without to-do lists i've always been like i always need to have a to-do list and i need to know what i'm doing that day um but i feel like especially this time of year going into the pe festive i'm gonna say festive period going into the festive period is so exciting but i feel like it comes with it, it makes me feel quite overwhelmed because it's my busiest work period it's the busiest time of the year for plans and there's just so much to think about that i need my to-do list they are super important to me this time of year so i've just been kind of like going through them and making sure that i feel organized for this week so the plan for today is christmas prep i want to feel organized to decorate at the end of this week which is really exciting and right now i i do not feel organized in the slightest so today i'm hoping by the end of today i'm hoping to just feel like i know what i'm doing so first thing i'd like to do today is pop over to the garden center that me and mum go to every single year we haven't been yet so i'm gonna go and meet her there in about 40 minutes and we're just gonna have a little mooch um and we'll probably go for like a coffee and then i'm gonna come back and i need to pack away all of the autumn decor which is so bittersweet because i love autumn and it makes me kind of sad putting it away but at the same time i know that i'm putting it away for something even better and i need to make room for all the christmas decor so i need to do that today i've bought some like big decor bags from amazon so it just kind of like stays i'm the worst for like throwing things in a box and then there's so many boxes in the loft i have no idea what my autumn decor is so this year i'm gonna be better and put it in a, a bag and label it so i know next year there's my autumn decor just it makes life easier that's what i did last year when i put my christmas stuff away so i'm hoping when i go up into the loft later things are nicely labelled and I will thank my past self for not being lazy. After I've packed away the autumn decor, I need to go up into the loft and just sort through my Christmas decorations because it's pointless bringing them all down for me to just like put them back up. So I'm going to go up there and have like a big sort out up there, get all my baubles out, get all the decorations out um, and kind of just like get them ready for the end of the week and then i need to sort out my office because it currently looks like this um this is a collection of <sighs> decorations gifts things for my christmas gift guide which i'm filming soon and it's just a lot of stuff that i've kind of just like dumped in here um, which I need to go through because I have no idea what's actually in many of them boxes. So I need to do that as well. And yeah, that is the plan for today. Yeah, today is all about getting organised, Christmas prep, and I'm really looking forward to spending the day with you guys. So 
I have just been doing a little bit of online shopping. There's just a few last little bits that I need to get for the Christmas table decor. And they were finally in stock, so I was like, I need to quickly go on there and get them. Because um, I've been waiting for a certain napkin <laughs> colour from the white company that I kept seeing go in and out of stock and I finally got them. So this part of today's video is very kindly sponsored by Karma and that's the whole reason I knew that my napkins were back in stock because Karma actually sent me a notification on my phone to let me know that they were back in stock. So if you guys haven't actually heard of Karma before, they have rebranded. They rebranded quite a while ago now, but they used to be called Shop Tagger, which I'm sure you guys would have heard of. I use Karma every single time I do any kind of online shopping. It helps me save money. It notifies me when items that I've been looking at go into sale, when items come back in stock. It's also a really great place to keep everything very organized. I tend to use Karma all year round, but especially around the festive period. Karma is completely free, which is amazing. And you can have it on an app or you can also add it to your Google Chrome as an extension. So you can use it on web and also on your mobile. Okay, once you have made an account for Karma, you will need to add the Chrome extension to your desktop, which is super easy. All you need to do is click install. Then add to Chrome, add extension, and then as you can see, a little blue button appear in your toolbar on the right hand side. This will actually be used to save all of your items to your lists. Do a quick tour around Karma so you can actually browse thousands of stores. And once you've found your selected store, Karma will actually redirect you. And I'm just gonna have a browse for some Christmas gifts and some stocking fillers. So to save items on Karma, it's super easy. Once you find something you like, you simply click on it. And then you head over to the button that we've just installed. And then you can actually choose when Karma notifies you. So you can choose any price change, 25% off or 50% off. I like to choose any price change. Karma will actually notify you when the item is back in stock, if it's out of stock as well, which is so handy. And you can actually select which list you'd like your item to go into. Then speaking of lists, I just wanted to show you my personalized lists on Karma. So as you can see, I've got gifts, Christmas decorations, Autumn 21, beauty, home interior. You can literally make a list for whatever you like. So I'm actually gonna make a new one, which is super easy. You simply click on new, and then I'm gonna make a Christmas wish list one. And then you hit save and it will appear in your list and you can start saving things to it. Another one of one of my favorite features, which I use every single time I online shop is the online coupon scanner. So every time you add something to your basket and head over to the checkout, Karma will automatically scan the internet for coupon codes, which saves you so much time and money. The coupon scanner is actually exclusive to Google Chrome, so be sure to download Karma on your desktop as well as the mobile app. And then last but definitely not least, Karma actually has a cashback feature. So you can actually earn money through PayPal whilst shopping online. There are so many stores that offer cashback, you can see a few here. So as always, I will leave a direct link down below for Karma. Such an amazing app to save money and also just keep yourself really organized, especially this time of year. Whenever Jamie's not here, Tilly will nap on his chair all day. But I love how Teddy is almost just guarding her. You keeping an eye on Sissy? Hey, you keeping an eye on Sissy? <laughs> These are yesterday's Halloween sweets. <laughs> Guys, we didn't get one trick-or-treater. 
not one. I think I kind of, excuse me, no, get off her, come on, get off. Every time he has to try and annoy poor Tilly. But yeah, we didn't get one trick or treater. I didn't really think about the fact we live in the middle of nowhere. Um, and <laughs> we live like on a, in the middle of a field. So I didn't really think about the fact trick or treaters probably wouldn't be trekking for a field. So we now have a lot of Halloween sweets and chocolate to get through. Okay, I am home from the garden center, which was magical. I love it in there every single year. Such a cute place. I didn't actually buy anything because I need to go through my decorations. Um, me and mum said we're gonna go back next week once I've kind of like looked through my decorations and they might have some more in because there were some kind of like empty bits in Van Haag that I feel like we'll get more um, Christmas stuff in obviously as we get more into November by the way please excuse the fact I look like Wurzel Gummidge God, I can't even say it Wurzel Gummidge today um, what's that? I wonder what that was sticker off my box I am just having one of those days where I can't be bothered I can't be bothered I scrubbed all my tan off over the weekend so I'm as pale as a ghost I went to sleep last night with wet hair, so we're looking a bit crazy today. I just, I just can't be bothered guys. You know one of those days where I'm just like, I don't even wanna brush my hair today. It's one of those days. And I've got a lot to do today. I can't wear makeup when like I need to be productive around the house. I just need to feel like free. So apologies for that. Um, now, plan for now is I'm gonna take away all the autumn decor. I'm kind of scared of how empty it's going to look because obviously I replaced a lot of my normal decor with autumn stuff. So, but I picked up some boxes from Amazon. Got this seasonal light storage bag, which looks like this. And I just thought that it'd be great to pop on my autumn decor in like little um, sections. So I'm going to use that. And then I bought this. I think I might have bought it because, not for gift wrap, but for like decorations that could go under the straps, kind of like bigger, longer ones. I know why I bought it, it's literally just came to my mind. For the signs, so like the autumn market signs and stuff like that, I thought it would be nice to like pop them in a kind of longer bag and I thought the gift wrap one would be amazing. So, it is time to de-autumn. This just popped up as a notification on my phone and it's a sneak peek of the new Starbucks drink this year. So there's a fudge brownie hot chocolate which looks amazing and also a caramel waffle latte. Cannot wait to try these. And then they have brought back their um, holiday favourites. So the toffee nut, gingerbread and eggnog lattes. And when I saw this, it reminded me that I actually picked these up from Amazon a while ago. So I'm going to pop these in my little coffee pot so I can have a festive coffee every morning. <laughs> down here I just need to put some delicate bits in a cardboard box like this and just sort it out in here but look how bare the fireplace looks it looks like we've just moved in I can't believe now it's gone I can't believe how homely the autumn decor made everything feel um, but at the same time it's actually really nice to have like a blank completely blank canvas in here because the Christmas tree is going to go here 
I'm going to pop this chair upstairs just for obviously the Christmas period but the Christmas tree is going to go here and then I've got a lovely garland to go on here. I'm excited to see what this room looks like when it's all Christmassy. This needs to be put away in my autumn box but I don't want to take it off the table because the table is going to be completely bare. So I'm going to try and find some kind of Christmassy arrangement to go on the table as well as like I'm thinking of maybe putting a wicker basket on here with some Christmas candles and like bits and bobs in there. I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think. And then in the hallway looks like this. I've basically just taken the cushions out of here, that, um, but again, these flowers, I love these and I might keep these up all year round. Again, I might look for maybe like a, I don't know, maybe like a burgundy colour for Christmas. I'm going to have a look tonight actually. I might swap these, but I don't want to take this away now because it will look like this and that just looks really sad. So. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that there until I find something else. And then, in the kitchen, I, let me pop a light on because it's getting dark so early. So in the kitchen, I just took away the little linen pumpkins. And yeah, again, very, I feel like this is gonna, this space is gonna really change um, over Christmas. And as I mentioned before, we're gonna have a really big real tree out here with lights on so it like shines through the doors which is going to look beautiful especially now it's getting dark at like half four and then I just took down the autumn bits off the shelves which are looking bare and then my little coffee corner excited to transform this into a cozy hot chocolate station I've bought some really cute bits online that say like Christmas hot chocolate and really cute little pots like Christmassy ones. I have got a little bit of Christmas already because I popped the Starbucks pods in here. But yeah, I'm excited to see it transform. Guys, my least favorite job in the whole world <laughs> is A, going up to the loft, but B, opening this hatch because I always just have this vision of the ladders coming out, knocking me out and knocking me down the stairs. So do you know what, actually I'm gonna stand the other side it just oh. okay I need both hands that is so hard to pull <laughs> oh my god it's so hard <laughs> that is such a dangerous contraption oh my god I hate going up there maybe I should have put Jamie to do this job Oh, it feels so cold up there. I'm not actually. Ladders, I'm not, not that keen on ladders. I fell off a ladder when I was younger and I always get a bit, don't know. Are these sensible shoes to go up a ladder? I mean, they've got quite a bit of grip. It'll be fine. Okay, let's go in the loft, see what Christmas goodies I have up here. I need to try and remember where the light switch is. Jamie says I'll be able to see it. Oh my God, guys, it's literally. Ah, I don't like it. Woo. Okay, there we go. I'm in. So like when you come up these stairs, you can't really go and throw yourself on all of that. So you have to like, hoik yourself this side. Um, okay, so. Oh, I don't even know where to start. Okay. This is all of last year's... This is my new Christmas tree. Oh my god, I'm very excited to get this out. It's not a flocked one like I usually go for. It's just a very classic green tree, so... I'm super excited to see what that looks like. Um, and I think all of this section here is Christmas stuff. So I just need to kind of like go through and see what's what really. I've always thought having an attic like bedroom, like I always used to think about this when I was younger and 
in american films like they always have like an attic bedroom i've always thought that it would be so cozy i think it's like the beams and the fact that it goes up i just think oh my god that'd be so cozy but i don't enjoy being up here not one bit it creeps me out i just i don't like my main issue is there could be spiders <laughs> and i don't like spiders very much also yesterday i was up here just to kind of like i needed to get something out of these boxes and all of a sudden i saw this little gray head appear and tilly had actually climbed the ladder didn't even know cats could climb ladders but apparently they can and she was here about to go into all of this insulation jamie had to jump out the bath and grab her from the top of the ladder Ooh. just found pure treasure a box full of christmas mugs Cute. oh jamie got me this last year for christmas and look at this one oh my god they're so cute i can't wait to drink from these well this is making me so happy look at these this is like my ultimate favorite mug ever my mum got me this for christmas i think maybe like three or four years ago and it's from paper chase and i've never quite been able to find a cute santa mug like this i just i love it What is that? See, I know I was organised last year. <laughs> this one is named Delicate Baubles. Look how gorgeous these are. <gasps> I forgot about all of these. Oh, they're so pretty. Oh, there's a fly on it. <laughs> how is there flies up here? Christmas tree decks in brackets new. Ooh. Who remembers these from last year? I'm going to be replacing this colour with a colour which I'll show you guys in a moment. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Looking good, Gemma. Looking great. Why must you put yourself on the internet like this? I know because I look like this 99.9% .9 of the time. My tree skirt. Keep this side facing up. I didn't like that. Oh, this flies on everything. My anxiety is through the attic roof. Like, do you know what my biggest, one of my biggest fears in life is? Um, me putting my hand in a box and there being a spider in there. And I feel like that's what might happen over here. Um, it's just so dark up here, guys. The fact it was like wrapped under this as well. Just don't like the thought. I mean, I can't even see in it. Oh, <gasps> was that reindeer slippers? Oh my goodness, I think I can see reindeer slippers. Oh, so cute! What about these? Oh my god, they're so cute. That was totally worth putting my hand in the box. Now it's time for the worst bit, getting down. I don't know how Jamie does this so easily. I think it's because he has longer legs than me. But, like, trying to get across there, like, it's nothing to put your hands on. Um... Oh my god. So I have to like kind of shuffle along. Oh, I don't like putting my hands on these beams. Oh god. I'm on the ladder. I'm going down. Ah. I mustn't forget you guys. And turn the light off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I hate 
going in the loft so much. finished sorting through everything in my office and I just wanted to show you a little sneak peek of this year's colour scheme. How gorgeous are these baubles? I got a round one, I also got this one with gold and also this one. I found it so hard to find like a nice, I wanted like a specific bauble. I wanted dark burgundy and it to be velvet and I literally couldn't find them anywhere. Hello Teddy, of course, a box has been opened so Teddy must explore. Yeah, I couldn't find nice velvet baubles anywhere. Then I was searching on Google and I found a company called Fenwick and ordered loads of them. They were not cheap, but I love them and I think they're gonna look beautiful on the tree. I'm really excited. <laughs> All you can see right now is Teddy's head. I'm really excited to have a more traditional tree this year. And yeah, super excited to see what these look like. So for dinner this evening, I am making a gigantic tray of roasted vegetables. I, this is like one of my new favorite things to cook. I just think it's so, just delicious. So nice, so underrated and it goes with anything like it goes with chicken goes with fish goes with any kind of meat you can even have it on its own it's also really nice as well if you make extra for the next day like as a lunch oh my god i love it my favorite veg combo is potatoes 100 percent because they go like oh, little mini roast potatoes they're delicious and I cut them up quite small, so I like this big because I find they cook obviously a lot quicker. So I do quite a lot of potatoes. And then I do like mainly root vegetables because they're my favorite. You can also do this with like peppers and stuff as well. Um, peppers and tomatoes and courgettes. But my favorite roasted veg is parsnips, carrots, beetroot, red onion, potatoes. I leave the skin on everything as well. I don't faff about peeling anything because I actually quite like the skin on stuff um makes it more rustic and I also feel like as well I am going to chop my finger off at any, any given moment but I feel like I'm almost teddy <laughs> please don't do this again I feel like I'm doing a bit of Christmas dinner prep so we'll have perfect roast vegetables on Christmas day I think on Christmas day though, I'm gonna do honey roasted parsnips and carrots because oh, honey roasted is just absolutely incredible. Or I might do maple roasted. I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna play about with a few different recipes. I'm actually gonna pop this in two different trays today um, because this one's getting a little bit full and I find to make the perfect roast vegetables, everything needs to be um like flat like they they can't be on top of each other because some burn some don't cook and it just doesn't it just doesn't work out very well and then what i'm gonna cook to go with it as well is this mini roast chicken dinner with gravy that i got from tesco the other day and it's literally just chicken breast wrapped in bacon with some little mini sausages and some stuffing and a little gravy sachet you just chuck this in the oven for 40 minutes and then it could be like a little mini zero effort roast dinner. my veggies are nice and flat I like to use some olive oil to season so I'm just gonna drizzle some over salt and pepper and then some dried oregano I actually popped some dried rosemary on last week and that was really yummy um, 
I've got a new herb garden outside, so I might try next some fresh rosemary. I think I'll do that when I try the honey roasted vegetables. And then, you just wanna make sure everything is completely covered. And then, you literally pop it in the oven for probably like 40 to 45 minutes. But, I would say keep checking on it because Veg can burn very quickly, so maybe after 30 minutes, just keep checking in the oven, giving it a little bit of a stir so it gets nice and crispy, but yeah, about 45 minutes and you'll have, oh my God, the most delicious tray of roasted vegetables. dinner was just put it this way i could eat roasted vegetables for the rest of my life i love them so much i just feel so full and happy right now i have just been i've got a very swollen eye i think i've got something in it earlier i think i might have got some cat hair in it but earlier it was literally like this it was so swollen and now I've just got a very small eye. Yeah, after I finished dinner, I've just come upstairs and watched an episode of Sex Education, which I feel like I missed the boat on. And I started watching it a few weeks ago and completely and utterly fell in love with it. It's like one of my favourite... Oh, it's just one of my favourite things I've ever watched. I just love it. I think it's such... Oh my god, I just love it. I love, you know when you like really fall in love with all the characters? That's me right now. Like, I adore Eric. I love Maeve. I love Otis. Like, it's just such a, it's a feel-good program. And I literally look forward to watching it every single day. And whenever I've got like a spare bit of time, I'm like, I'm going to watch Sex Education. So I've just been watching an episode of that. And I think I might have, I might have a bath. I'm in one of those moods where I'm kind of like, I want to have a bath because I love them, but then I'm a bit like, can I be bothered to wait for a bath to run or do I just jump in the shower? But yeah, today's been a productive day. I feel a lot more ready for Christmas now. I'm really glad that I went up in the loft and just kind of saw what I have. Um, I found loads of things today that I actually forgot that I had and I'm going to get everything down tomorrow. I need Jamie to get things down because... I need to like pass the boxes down so I think that's the plan for tomorrow um I feel really happy with this year's theme cannot wait to see it cannot wait to decorate I can't wait for the house to just feel really Christmassy but yeah that's gonna go ahead and end this video I really hope you guys enjoyed it hope you're all having a fabulous start to November um my next video will actually be my my Christmas decorating my what my christmas tree decorating video which you guys know is like my favorite video of the year i don't want to end this vlog on a dampener um but i for the past few weeks i've been kind of not dreading christmas because you guys know i i love everything about this time of year but i feel like this year feels harder without dad than last year which is crazy because you'd think the first year without dad being there would be the hardest but I think last year I was really constantly trying to like keep myself afloat and tell myself that it's not going to be as bad as I thought it was and obviously there was a lot more going on last year so it wasn't like a normal Christmas anyway we we were most of us were in lockdown and we couldn't spend Christmas day with our families and it kind of felt different for that reason last year but I feel like this year because we're allowed to do all of the Christmassy things, which is amazing, and we can like celebrate with our family properly, I'm, I just feel like something so huge is missing. Um, like I heard one of my dad's favorite Christmas songs. It was actually when I popped to M&S last week and it was on and I just felt like I was gonna have a bit of a meltdown. <sighs> it feels like someone ripping my soul out. <laughs> Genuinely, that's how I would, 
explain it it honestly feels just so painful um it's almost like it, the shock of it hits you again it was about two weeks ago now i heard that christmas song and it was the first christmas song i'd heard and the first christmas song i heard was dad's favorite song and it made me feel like that and i genuinely thought i just cannot do christmas this year and that was like my thought and i was like oh my god like it just felt different um so i'm kind of just like really trying to take it very easy this year and not put pressure on myself um i just feel myself being a lot like having a lot more sad days which i which is fine like grief i feel like there is no easy way to cure grief um you literally just have to ride the waves of it um but i just find some things that hit me are so hard i was at my mum's the other night and oh i really don't want to cry because i don't want to end this video on like a sad note but i'm just speaking out loud i was at my mum's and this song that dad always i find songs really hard like this song that dad always used to sing and i, I can see his face when he's singing it and i used to laugh so much because it's so funny the way he used to sing it i can't i don't know what the song was it was some like my dad loved like western music like american western music and he always used to sing this song and it would go like yee, 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 at the end and me and mum were sat there and we just looked at each other and just burst out crying and we were like oh my god like little things that you f like just don't like I don't know the name of that song so I probably never would have heard it but I just heard the like yee, yee bit <laughs> it sounds so stupid and I was like oh, dad always used to sing this and yeah I feel like Christmas is probably the hardest time of year because it's like my dad made Christmas me and my sister were saying this the other day that like my dad was the Christmas spirit and yeah it just it feels really hard sometimes um but it's sad I don't I don't want like I don't want because my dad isn't here, like physically here anymore. I don't want to feel like my dad isn't here. Does that make sense? Like his spirit is still here and his Christmas spirit lives on. I will make it live on. And yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to doing new traditions like, like this year. Because going to my mum's last year was hard without dad being there. It just felt like, felt so weird. Um... So I'm, I'm looking forward to like doing new traditions each year now and yeah, um, I don't really know where that came from. I just felt like I had to share that um, and just know if you have lost anyone close to you, don't feel like there's a right way to deal with grief and even if it's been like years and years and years and you still like feel like you're not healing i think that's normal like i i've accepted now i this sounds kind of like quite maybe it's a negative way to look at it but i feel like this this works for me i've accepted that it's never gonna get easier for me and i'm never gonna not miss dad and i'm never gonna feel the same i'm never gonna feel like the old me because such a huge part of me isn't here anymore and that's such like a that's like a really sad thing to admit but I've accepted that and I feel like once I accept it I can almost let go of it a little bit and I'm like do you know what I am gonna miss dad every single day of my whole life and certain life events that happen to me aren't gonna be the same because he's here but I need to just try and like navigate my way through life holding that holding that sadness i guess oh that sounds really sad it is sad <laughs> that's why it sounds sad but yeah i think 
that's how I cope with it anyway. I know that over time it will get not easier, but I'll get more used to it. Um, I'll get more used to like this new way of life, not having my dad here for like big life events and Christmases and I'll get more used to it, but it will never get easier. That's just kind of how I look at it. It might be completely different for any of you guys, um, but I just think it's so important when you're grieving any kind of loss, there's no right or way, way to do it. You just have to, you have to just go through the motions, ride the waves and you have to know that you can go on without that person, no matter how hard it is. But yeah, that's just how I've been feeling recently. But yeah, thank you guys for listening as always. Um, and I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on Sunday. Love you all so much. Bye bye.